Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm in a great mood today, which is handy because, as you've seen from the title of this video, if I wasn't in a particularly good mood, this could be quite a hard video to film. But last week I found, I don't know, just on the day that I sat down to film, I was feeling a bit kind of bleh. So apologies if that came across in the video. I promise I am more normally like this than I am like that. I actually had to film that video twice and it was just, it was a whole thing. Anyway, so hopefully this week will go a little bit smoother. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Heather. I am a professional viola player and I make videos just about all things freelance life really. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, please do subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the bell, put the notifications to all. There's so many things I do appreciate when you go to like subscribe to somebody's channel it feels like a lot of admin so if you just want to subscribe and like this video then that's that's fine but equally i mean if you don't like this video you don't like me you don't like my channel then don't subscribe but i will i will be sad and you know this is this is me happy we don't we don't want to see what i'm like when i'm sad because it's um yeah it's not good and it will be your fault i'm really excited to film today's video because it's something that i have a strong opinion is probably the wrong wording, but it's something that I feel really strongly about because it's something that's just rife in an industry that is all about putting on a show, putting on a performance. And so often we can get caught up in that and the sort of maybe image we have to portray or the pressures of this job because it is a high pressured environment. A lot of the time you're working to a very, very tight time schedule. So if you make a mistake, then that's going to cost time and then people are going to get annoyed and it's all, you know, it's all a bit stressful. So negativity can so easily creep into an industry that I love and I'm very protective of, I guess. At the moment, we are in an absolute crisis point in this industry. We really, really are. Luckily this morning, you may have seen that there was a big announcement that we are going to get... So like 1.5 billion or something from the government which is going to go towards keeping the arts afloat which is incredible and amazing and we you know I'm, I'm grateful for that I don't agree with the government and everything that they do and I'm not going to get super political but that I am so grateful to them for and everybody that has been petitioning signing things posting about what it's like for them now to sending out these petitions to their friends their families thank you because you have done a really really great thing. I will have some more petitions and just things that we can do to really help the industry along at the moment in the description bar below. You may also remember I talked about help musicians in a video a few videos back and I will link that up here so you can see you know a bit more information about it. They have now released an album that you can buy which just goes straight towards supporting musicians that are really struggling at the moment. So yeah I'll have that link down below as well. Please do check that out because every little really really does help. It's also a really really good album with some amazing artists on there so yeah check that out. Now I do want to say straight off the bat with this that everybody loves a good moan Come on, we, we all do. And I'd be lying if, if I said that I absolutely adored everything that I have to play. Of course I don't. I've played some ridiculous stuff, which was just uh, boring and or hard and or annoying and or frustrating. All of the above. But also, confession time, I love playing those like prom style concerts where you've got your damn busters, you've got your pomp and circumstance, you've got all the big slushy romantic indulgent stuff. I love it. I think it's great fun. So that's very unpopular opinion in the musician world, but hey ho. There's a saying that gets used a lot in my church, which I love, and it's just always have a bottle of Prosecco in the fridge because there will always be things that come along that are so worth celebrating and we should be celebrating them. So often we can look at our achievements or the things that are a massive win to us personally and go, oh yeah, but it's not actually that big of a deal like that person achieved this thing which we perceive to be so much better than the thing that we achieved and all of that. Rubbish, celebrate every single little win because all of these little wins, all of these little steps towards your big goals are absolutely vital. You would not be able to get to the big goal without them. So celebrate every little win that you come across and that you achieve because you did that. 
and you worked hard to do that and give yourself some credit and yeah crack out the Prosecco. Side note this is not sponsored by Prosecco but I kind of wish it was. What was the moment that really made you go yeah this is the career I want to pursue. For lots of people that happens when they're a young child, maybe it's the first time that you saw an orchestra play live and that just spectacle and the music just kind of hit you and really made you sit up and think. For me, I don't really have like a one definitive moment, but I more have musical works and musical experiences because I've been immersed in music basically since I was born really, but especially since I was a very young toddler. So for me, all of these kind of experiences that I got to be a part of were the things that really made me realise that a musician is what I wanted to be. I went through a phase, gosh, in my early teens where I was basically like, I, d I don't want to be a musician, I don't want to do music, it's what everybody expects me to do, it's what I've always done, I've never done anything else, la 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 la, you know, get, get, the teenage angst, you get it. But then I sort of started thinking about what life might look like if I didn't go into music. I was considering going in to study psychology and to become a psychologist and I probably would have gone into PTSD studies and I, because I find that fascinating. But my mum was the one who said to me, okay, fine, you go off, you study psychology, you do all of that, you do it really well, life's a good one. But then you go and watch a, a classical music concert or an orchestra performing. How would you feel about that? And I was like, oh, I wouldn't go. And she was like, what? <laughs> why, why wouldn't you go? And I was like, I would be so jealous of those people on stage that I wouldn't be able to watch. And my mum was just like, well, I think you probably got your answer there then, haven't you? And I was like, mm, yeah, probably. So I ended up going off to music college and here we are. But my point is, hold on to that why, because it is so important. So why are you here? Why are you doing it? Because if you hold on to that, you'll be able to keep the spark of it alive and you won't start getting to be one of those slightly embittered musicians who we all know of you. This is a really, really tough one because it can involve making some quite tough friendship calls. We all have those friends who we kind of feel like we can't really discuss our gigs with, or we can't really tell them about what we've been getting up to because you know that deep down they're not actually that happy for you and maybe they'll get a bit jealous, maybe they'll resent you or, or whatever. So I'm not saying cut these people out of your life completely, but maybe just steer away from the work chat. Negative people are only going to hold you back in the long run. If you get an amazing opportunity, you tell a friend and their reaction is like, oh, Cool, oh, fine. <laughs> You're like, what good is that gonna do anybody? So surround yourself with people that are for you, that are fighting for you, that are gonna celebrate with you, that are gonna push you, that are gonna remind you of why you love what you do. And maybe take a bit of a step back from the people that, to be honest, don't really want you to succeed. Frustrations are perfectly real and they are perfectly valid. No job is perfect, no gig is going to be absolutely ideal and airing those frustrations can often really really help actually achieve a solution. I'm 100% a verbal processor, it's one of the reasons why I enjoy making these videos because it sort of helps me talk through and think through my opinions on things. So therefore I have to be really really careful that if I have a frustration with something that I don't bottle it up because if I do it can just become a much bigger deal than it ever was in the first place. So acknowledge your frustrations, they're absolutely valid and if nothing else then you'll feel much better for having let off some steam. My first ever experience of being in a professional orchestra was very nearly ruined by one of the other players in the section who was a contracted member of that orchestra using the opportunity of every time there was a stop in the rehearsal to start moaning and I mean just full on the first thing out of their mouth every single time was a complaint was a moan and often it was about the quality of the orchestra or the quality of the playing which for me as an extra having just come into that and very new to the industry I was a bit like oh is he 
Is he talking about me? Is it like my fault? Or why is he in this orchestra who doesn't think it's that good? And I was so excited to be there. It was my foot in the door of an avenue of work that I'd been desperate to join since my first day of college, since before I even went to music college, really. And it could have so easily been spoiled by that person's negativity. Complaining is just also really like unconstructive. It doesn't really help anything and often all it can do is cast in a really negative light on a moment. Like I said in that example, I was sat there like super excited, quite nervous, but like super excited to be there and I was really happy about it. And then that kind of gradually got chipped away at as this person just made out like the situation wasn't actually that great. So really, really think about the effect you have on the people around you if you are just complaining. Now, obviously there are instances when complaining is the right thing to do. Like if you're not being treated very well by a venue or by a fixer or if rehearsals overrun, which they never should, by the way. So if ever you're being taken advantage of by a conductor and they're saying, oh no, we're just, we'll just go on a bit longer, is that okay? And everyone's like, mm no, not really, but I don't really want to say anything, then, you know, stuff like that is, is not okay and it is worth complaining about. But complain to the appropriate channels. Talk to somebody who can actually do something. Just moaning about it in the dressing room doesn't actually help and just sort of puts everybody in a bit of a bad mood. So find the person who can actually fix the problem and then complain to them. You don't control anybody around you. So if you find yourself filling in the gaps of what you think they must be thinking, whether about you, the situation, the job, the rep, whatever, just stop because it can really easily lead into a really negative spiral. And then you sort of have this like negative impression of the person which you have solely put on them. They probably haven't done anything that's actually in the vein of the stuff that you're like, oh yeah, well they obviously think this. And it's like, do they know? How do you ask them? This cancel culture is everywhere at the minute. We see it all over social media. We see it all over the mainstream media. And it's really, really toxic. One poor performance or mistake does not equal always terrible. And we as musicians do this all the time. I am guilty of this. I have done this to people in the past where I have worked with them once, maybe twice, and then sort of gone, eh, no, they're not very good. When actually that is really, really unfair and they are actually doing really, really well. So clearly they were just having a bad day when I sat next to them. Or to be honest, probably I was having a bad day and just decided to presume that they were rubbish. Just think like, how much would you like it if people completely wrote you off for the rest of your career because of one mistake? Like, you wouldn't like it very much. So cancel culture is something that I really wanna actively fight against because it doesn't actually help anybody at the end of the day. Now, again, quick caveat, I know I'm always caveating, I'm really sorry, it's really annoying, but a lot of the time in the music industry, time is money, so do not use what I just said as an excuse to not turn up and do your best every single time. This industry is full of very, very talented people, and so in order to keep up with that, we do need to be working hard and performing our best, but I'm just talking about having a little bit of grace for when your desk partner, you know, plays a bit of a blinder of a boo-boo note, and then you're like, hey, that was funny. It's funny, it's not a reason to strike them off. Like I said at the start, we need to band together more than ever right now, and more work is good for everyone. What goes around kind of comes around, so if you're the kind of person who never gets people in on gigs, or doesn't get that person in as a depth, because you're like, oh no, I think they're better than me, and then I'll never get any work, and like, just, that is just not helpful because you may well find that you start to not be asked to join things. If somebody gets me in on a gig or if they ask me to debt for them, they will be one of my first calls when I then need to get somebody in on a gig or I need a debt. 
because it's my way of saying thank you for giving me that bit of work like you gave me some work I'm gonna give you some work it's just kind of how this industry works a lot of the time and it also means that you develop these really good relationships with people you know who you can trust you know who's good to work with you know who's good to communicate with all of that kind of stuff so champion each other give each other opportunities because then when those people are in a position to give out opportunities, they're much more likely to give you a call. So it's all just kind of the good builds on the good. There will obviously be days where the last thing you want to do is to do a full day of rehearsals after the night before where somebody said, let's get wine. Or maybe it's the most glorious day outside and you're stuck in a recording studio all day. That's not so fun. Like, nobody's denying that. But this career is a wonderful privilege and it's on those bad days that the reasons why you started this career in the first place really find their power. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry, I know it's been a bit of a long one. I've been trying to keep them shorter and I just, I just can't. I like to talk. I'm sorry. I will always be a longer videos kind of person. But yeah, I just, I really hope that you found this encouraging and motivating to, like I said, be that, be that positive influence because you think about it, who would you rather hang around with? Somebody who's really negative all the time or somebody who buoys you up and encourages you and makes you want to do your best? Again, please do like this video, subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed it. We will get out of this and we will recover. And I'm actually kind of excited for it. I think some really good stuff is going to come from all of this. And I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what that is. So have a great week. Enjoy yourselves. Stay safe as ever. I know lockdown is easing a little bit, which is wonderful. But please do stay safe. Don't go crazy. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I can't say we're all wrong and I'm feeling really well. So if that sounds like the kind of thing that you would be interesting and in, you would be interesting, I'm sure you're very interesting. And yeah, I will see you in the next one, which I don't know what it is yet. Ah.